Lulu at the beach. It is summertime. The weather is sunny, the air is warm, but a slight breeze is running through Lulu's face. Lulu is cheerful. His mummy took him to the beach, and he is having fun running around and playing on the warm sand. Yet, he is not at the seaside, but on the Loire river bank, a large, magnificent, and wild river. His mummy told him that a very long time ago, the kings of France usually lived in Paris, but they loved the Loire River banks so much that they had sumptuous castles built surrounded by large gardens. Lulu thought this was a good opportunity. I am going to make a surprise for my mummy. He too will build a castle, but a sand castle specially for her. Once his castle built, he showed it to his mummy, who found it very beautiful. A real success. Mummy gives him hugs and kisses to congratulate him, and he is very happy. Now, Lulu is paddling in the water, pulling his red, white, and blue boat. He knows that the Loire River flows to the sea, and he is imagining the extraordinary adventures that his boat could live through if he let it follow the strong stream. But he does not want to lose his boat, so he simply imitates the sound of the engine with his mouth and decides to shelter it in the port. Yes, but which port? It has to be built. So, Lulu digs a big hole in the sand and then shapes small channels through which the river water enters and fills the hole. There we go, the port is ready. Lulu is surprised by many long fish the size of his little finger who have entered with the water. He watches them swimming around. Lulu would like the fish to stay in the hole so that he can capture them. So after having asked his mummy, whose attentive look is smiling to him, he is allowed to fetch a board washed up by the water further on the beach and he closes the entrance of his little port. There we go, the fish are captured. Our little hero, proud of having captured a few bleaks, asks his mummy if he can bring them home to join Pepito in his aquarium. But mummy tells him that his goldfish likes to live alone in his bowl. As a matter of fact, the bowl is too small for the other fish. Lulu understands that it would probably make Pipito unhappy, so he frees the small fish and watches them swim with the tide. But it is already time for the afternoon snack. Lulu fills his little watering can to wash his hands, and he also uses it to freshen his legs. This does him a lot of good. Comfortably settled on a large towel, under the parasol his mummy brought, Lulu is calmly eating a piece of fruit. While munching on his afternoon snack, he goes through everything he did before. First, the sand castle, with its towers and drawbridge that he shaped with his shovel in a huge pile of damp sand. Then, the little port to shelter his boat. And finally, the miraculous capture of tiny, shiny little fish that he finally released. Hey, Mummy, must we leave now? No, you can continue playing for a while. What do you want to do? A boat, but I want a big one so that we can climb into it. So together, they managed to dig the sand from the shore, slowly turning it into a speed boat. Lulu runs to fetch some planks and a few dead branches scattered on the seashore, which were thrown back by the Loire River when it was overflowing. There we go, here it is. Lulu is settled in front at the controls of his little ship, and with his cap, he really does look like a master marina. How about we go and have a swim while it is still warm? Oh yes, Mummy! But we must be very careful. The Loire is a beautiful river, but it can also be very dangerous. Whatever happens, 
You must never let go of my hand. I promise, Mummy. So Lulu huddles up in his mummy's arms and lets himself carried by the fresh water that wraps them up in a moment of shared happiness. The afternoon is coming to an end, and it is already time to slowly go home by bike. Lulu is wearing his protection helmet and will cautiously ride in front of his mummy. And off we go. A little kiss before setting off, and tomorrow, if mummy agrees, they will come back here. He will certainly find his constructions again, and he is already thinking about the way he can modify and embellish them with the help of his mummy.